What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Nikki Lewinsky. Back at you one more time. This time I'm with this man on my right, Mr. Hennessy, Privy Air from the Bat Cave and Kill His Claw Army. How's it going? I'm alright, what's happening? What's good, what's good, you know? Um, how about you tell us a little bit about this Bat Cave and Kill His Claw? Um, Bat Cave, that came about. <laughs> When uh, my nigga Slim got it, he took me to the studio and shit, you feel me? I went to the studio with him for a session, and I met Dub Nietzsche, you feel me? And uh, he was a cool producer, so I stuck around and fucked with him, you feel me? And got put on back cave. What about the Killer Squad Army? Killer Squad, it was a group that we had a long time ago. Me and my big bro and a couple of other people, you feel me? My big brother went to the pen, though, for 15 years, man. It started off. With me, six nine, Killer Herb, and uh, this nigga named Sickness from the Bay. You feel me? He was making beats and shit, and uh, that was our little group. It was called the Killer Squad. You okay. feel me? Yeah. So. Um, oh yeah, Free Killer Herb too. That nigga getting jail for fifteen years, man. He started Killer Squad. Okay, big up, big up. Um, so when and where were you born? I was born in San Francisco, California. Uh, my birthday was, my birthday is 1289, you feel me, I was born in a Mount Zion Hospital in Fillmore, but I was raised in Bayview Hunters Point, I was in group homes and shit, in Oakland, Richmond, you feel me, all over the place. I'm fairly 80s baby, y'all. Barely, you know what I'm Um, when did you move to Sacramento, and why did you come to Sacramento? Uh, I moved to Sacramento when I was 13. I, uh, my big cousin Reese, he moved out here from Frisco, you feel me? And my grandma thought I was going to die out there, so she moved me. She moved me to Sac. Then we came out here because my mother was already out here. Okay. You know okay. Um, when did you start rapping at what age? I started rapping at six. My father had a lot to do with it. He had a little group back in the days, you feel me? He was singing and rapping and shit. The nigga had the uh, high top fade and shit with the line on the side and shit. Yeah, but that nigga wrote me my first rap. He is my inspiration in this music. He bought me a studio when I was younger, put me in the studio. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, do you have any family that's a rapper, that is a rapper, or in the rap business besides your dad? Oh, yeah. Um, I got a cousin, this man, Selsky, you feel me, from Lakeview, from Randolph. That nigga hard. He got hella shit. He just did a music video with the jacket and shit. Uh, I came up around JT, the bigger figure. You feel me? I get a lot of inspiration from him, too. He started Get Low up in Hunters Point. You feel me? I was going to the Muslim school. His mom was working there, making a, doing the lunch and shit, making hella bean soup for everybody and shit. <laughs> yeah. My okay. nigga Joseph, he used to uh, sign autographs and shit for all the little kids at the school. That was nice. Um, yeah. Um, what made you want to start rapping? Was it because your father got the studio, wrote you your first rap, or was it something that you, like, looked at other rappers like, I want to do that when I'll be older? Uh, nah, it's just, it's, it's, I like rap because it's poetry, you feel me? It's what you go through every single day, you know what I'm saying? If there wasn't, if there wasn't music, I probably would have been went crazy a long time ago. I go through hella shit, you feel me? And every time I go through something, I write about it and it sounds good. Okay. Who are your favorite rappers? My favorite rapper of all time is Messi Moore. You feel me? That nigga go. You feel me? I get my inspiration a lot of it from him. Uh, Jacka, Hustler, Lil Wayne. I can't forget about Lil Weezy. You feel me? That nigga's a lyricist. That's where I get that one. Uh, get that from. You feel me? I love that man. That nigga got hella metaphors. You feel me? He's a good artist to look at. You feel me? Wanting to be like. Okay, so it's safe to say that your inspiration is basically Miss and Jack and Huss and Lewin. That's, that's who you get your inspiration to be a rapper who you are today? Yep, that's my main, you know, my music, I get, it's like all of them niggas mixed in one nigga, you feel me? Yeah. That's where my style comes from. Okay, okay, so if you were to make it up there with, you know, Wayne and Messi and Emma, who would you want to put a song out with? I would want to do a song with Lil Wayne. Uh, Jewel Santana, probably Cassidy, you know what I'm saying, Fabulous, them niggas is hella hard as far as metaphors, you feel me, and as far as me as an artist, gotta step my game up to do songs with them, you know what I'm saying, get my, get my word play better. Okay. Oh, Eminem too, can't forget about him. <laughs> Big up Eminem. Yeah. Um, 
Let's rewind some of it. You got any kids? Yeah, I got a hell of kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah, I love my kids dearly. Yeah, you so you so you do for them in their life. Yeah, I'm in their life. Okay, do you want any more kids? How many more kids do you want if you do? Shit, uh, probably like six. I want a football team. You feel me? I love little kids. You know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, I really didn't have too much of shit. So you feel me? I want to be there and do shit for the kids. Okay, okay. So. Being that you were raised and are born in the Bay Area and moved out here to Sacramento, what do you think of the two different raps versus, you know what I mean, the Bay Area versus Sacramento with the hyphy movement and what Sacramento got going on out here? What, what, what do you think about that? What I think is the Bay, you tell me they got a whole lot of unity. Them niggas is united. That's why they're getting and accumulating hella money. You feel me? And they're doing good together. E-40... Uh, uh, Keep the Sneak, Jacka, Huss, all them niggas out there in the Bay, they got unity. Them niggas work with each other, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, as far as Sacramento rappers go, we're not united enough to, you feel me, have that much money. It's not enough unity because the next motherfucker is hating on what the next motherfucker got and want to be like the next motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of haters out here in Sacramento. Hell of haters, man. Quit hating, Sacramento, quit hating. Man, niggas hate to see a nigga doing good, you feel me? A nigga go, do good, niggas want to push some 10 steps back, you know what I'm saying? Or, or even worse, rob that nigga for what he did good for, you feel me? Stop hating, Sacramento, like I said. Man. But, um, let's talk about your music. How did you come up with the name Baskin and Robin? Uh, I wanted to be unique and wanted to be different, you feel me? I was thinking, like, uh, well, I was going to name my mixtape. And um, I'm like, I got 31 flavors, 31 different flavors. And I'm like, 31 flavors, Baskin Robbins. I'm going to name it Baskin Robbins, you know what I'm saying? And it was dope, though. Everybody liked that. Okay, you say it's freestyle. Is it, is it really all 100% freestyle? Um, shit, some of the hooks and shit was written. I'm going to keep it 100 some of the hooks was written, but for the most part, anything was freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I go in there on off some duff or something, bottle, you feel me? Get in there and be up for two, three days in the booth, you feel me? Freestyle and gassing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So, uh, where, where, what's your project you're working on now? What's that called? Right now, i got an album coming out next month on the 10th. It's called um, Hennessy Obama, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, after that, I'm putting out a compilation called Shoot the Kill. Okay. What are some of your favorite songs off the mixtape? Uh, I got songs like Gunther, Boppers to Ho, uh, Space Jam on them. I did the remix to uh, Do You Wanna Ride With Me uh, by Do or Die, you feel me? Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have any favorites off this new project you're working on? Oh, hell yeah, man. I got a single. It's called One Day. That motherfucker slap, man. You gotta hear that shit, man. One Day. I got a song called Jack Boy I like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a couple slappers on there that I like. Uh, I'm fresh, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker slaps a little hard. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, so um, you also just did a show last night. Uh, let us know about that. Like, elaborate on that. Who was there? Who did you perform with? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I had a show. It was at um, a bar called The Coldest Beer by Northrop. You know what I'm saying? Uh. It was smacking dumbass hard, you feel me? My nigga Twin Gutter came up there from the cave, dumbass smack. My nigga uh, Swag was up there, dumbass smack. Young Tito was up there, you feel me? And they had some cats I, I didn't even know, you feel me? That was hella hard. That was dope, you feel me? This nigga named Jay Huss, this nigga named Psychopath, you know what I'm saying? It was from my nigga Kev. His mom had passed away, so he was trying to raise money for that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so Rest in peace. That was the cause of the show? That was the cause of the show. And we accumulated funds, too. And it was good because now I got more shows just from doing that one show. They liked me up there. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so I see you got a lot of ink. Um, tell us a little bit about all this ink that you got going on here. Oh, wow, I got hella tattoos, man. What's this? I mean, your face, Game Legend. What's that mean? Um, it says Game Legend. Game Legend stands for, do you feel me, a motherfucker who who then learned every aspect of the game, you know what I'm saying, who then been through everything and is here to tell you about it, you know what I'm saying. That's why I got it, and I put it, because my rap name is Hennessy Privier, a.k.a. Hennessy the Game Legend. I put it on my face so everybody could see the shit, you know what I'm saying, because that's how I was feeling at the time, you feel me. Now that I'm older, it's, it's kind of like it's hard for a nigga to find a job, so it's kind of like, you feel me,